the BC Chief Coroner, through her report, cited that in terms of toxicology, 79% of people that are that die from a, a fatal overdose have fentanyl in their uh, in their toxicology results. 51% with cocaine, 41 4% with meth, about 3% hydromorphone. But the, the coroner and the chief of police and the BC chief medical health officer and First Nations Health Authority say it's it's fentanyl that's killing people. People are not dying from hydromorphone safer supply. Can you, I, I understand you operate a, uh, a drug checking service. Can you tell us about the nature of the drug supply in the Yukon, um, what's killing people in the Yukon, and lastly, you know, how easy is it to get deadly fentanyl in the Yukon and other drugs? Yeah, so the unregulated drug supply in the Yukon is volatile and highly toxic. Um, sometimes when a new supply arrives, we see waves of overdoses as people encounter unexpected levels of fentanyl, benzodiazepines, and more recently, xylazine. Our drug checking data demonstrates that our supply is very similar to BC's, but even more volatile with fewer suppliers. It is highly vulnerable to disruption. When there's a police drug bust, the supply is immediately disrupted. Another supplier moves in to fill the gap in the market, sometimes with a more toxic supply of fentanyl, um, and Yukon, yeah, this, so we definitely are seeing fentanyl increasingly contaminated with benzodiazepines and xylazine. So I'd say a combination of the three is um, the terrifying thing we're seeing lately that is leading to deaths. 